Welcome back. We are here looking at the tech stocks. This is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, October 21st, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. That helps this channel uh, to grow a lot. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So we'll start out by looking at Netflix. And for most of the stocks here, they are up uh, 1, 2%, uh, almost 2% today we are rallying and may this probably is the main reason is that uh, there is an expectation that there is going to be uh, agreement on the next stimulus bill however that deadline is uh, approaching and if we get an agreement which is very unlikely this close to an, an election then of course this market will basically absolutely explode at this moment, we look at uh, Netflix. We have a double top here for Netflix of a high of 575 and a low at this point at 458. We have found support here at the 200, no, the 20 exponential moving average at the $523. And at this point, I do believe that will go uh, further down all the way towards the 50 moving average at the 570 or the 100 moving average at 480.89. Technical indicators for Netflix stocks are fairly bearish at this point. Uh, MACD is about to cross the signal line. The RSI is also looking uh, the momentum to the downside. The same goes for the CCI and the stochastic. And the Bollinger Band has a long way to go all the way down to these lower levels. So it depends whether or not we get uh, stimulus. However, this will be the fourth stimulus and it will most likely be uh, uh, one or two days of, of really positive growth and then will fall back. Um, that is what I technically expect. Of course, the market will react positively if there is an, is an agreement, but it's not something that will last for several months. If you look at uh, Microsoft, get rid of all of this sorry yes we are uh, we found support at the 20 exponential moving average that was at 214 now we are up 1.2 percent at this point uh, technical indicators are still fairly bearish for microsoft stock uh, MACD has turned around a little bit, the RSI has not turned around, the um, trend of the CCI is really negative, we're about to go beneath uh, the, the signal line here, and the same goes for the stochastic, it's quite negative, and also the Bollinger Band has a lot of room to the downside. If we were to break down uh, below this, we'll go towards the 100 moving average. And I do believe that's where we find uh, most buyers will enter this market and push this price up. If we go higher from here, then we'll test these highs of 225 before going to these highs of 232. At this point, we need to clear this in order to go to the top. A breakdown below this will open the door to the 100 moving average of 206. If there's no stimulus, that is most likely what is going to happen. Apple is up 1% today. We have found support at the 40 exponential moving average and that is just around there at 150 dollars and we are trending in between the 50 moving average and the 40 exponential moving average if we break above the 50 uh, moving average then we'll go towards this trend line and this um, resistant area sorry at 125 a break through there will open the door to 137 if we break below this, we'll go all the way down to this uh, support area at $105. The technical indicators for Microsoft for Apple are very bearish at this point. Um, they're not looking really good. If you look at the MACD, it's about to cross the signal line, indicating bearish momentum. The RSI is fairly flat. The CCI is looking uh, that showing that we are going into a negative trend it shows signs of bearishness the same goes for the uh, stochastic and the bullinger band has a lot of room to the downside we are found the resistant at the uh, 20 moving average here but most likely we'll fall 
fall lower if there is no sign of any stimulus. We see Amazon. Amazon has also find, found uh, support at the 40 ex, uh, exponential moving average. We are trading in between these moving average. Nothing really happening here. Uh, we're up uh, 0 0.75. Uh, 70, if we break above the uh, 20 exponential moving average, that opens the door to 3,492. And after that, we go to the all-time highs. Break below here opens the door for the 100 moving average at 3,041. Technical indicators for Amazon are not good. So I favor technically the downside than the upside. But technically, this is basically speculation due to the stimulus that it may come or may not come and so on. So maybe a good idea just to stay out of the market. That's probably the best idea at the moment before there's a clarity because it can go either way. MACD is crossing the signal line, indicating bearish momentum. RSI is flat. CCI is showing bearish momentum. And the same goes to stochastic. And there's a lot of room here to the downside. We may fall around... Uh, around nearly 5% in Amazon stock. Tesla is down 1.70% uh, at this point. We are most likely will find massive uh, support here at uh, 50 moving average, which is at $411 per share. Technical indicators for Tesla at this point are very bearish. We can see the MACD has crossed the signal line. Um, RSI is showing signs of bearishness. The same goes for the CCI and also the stochastic. And the Bollinger Band has room all down, all the words down to three hundred and eighty nine dollars. That is not very likely, but it could happen. It, it we have seen it before that we basically gone all the way towards the the. A lower part of the Bollinger Band. If you look at at the, the previous trend, then the 50 moving average will most likely be where uh, buyers will come in and pressure this price up. And the first target to the upside will be here, 460 and it's five dollars before going to these highs of the highs of 502 dollars. If you look at Facebook. Facebook has been uh, has rallied today. We're up 1.8%. We have find we are found we are finding resistant at the 50 moving average. We will most likely break down from here as the technical indicators are all uh, fairly bearish at this point. MACD is about to cross the signal line. The RSI is showing signs of strength, and but the CCI is not. It is showing signs that we are trading downwards. And the same goes for the stochastic. And uh, uh, Bollinger Band has a lot of room to the downside. We could actually fall all the way down to 250. And that would be around here at the 100 moving average. We would certainly find massive support in this area here. So finally, Google is up 1%. We found support here at the 20 exponential moving average, 1,521. At the moment, we are going to most likely retest these highs of 1,593. If that breaks, then there's nothing preventing us from going all the way to these highs of uh, $1,733. Break down from here, opens the door for the, to the 200 moving average at $1,436. Technical indicators are, are basically showing that we are going to go down. MACD is showing signs of weakness. RSI is technically flat. The trend for the CCI has uh, been negative for several days now. This is just a matter of time before we go under here, and that will mean that we are going to drop significantly. There's a lot of room to the downside for the, in the Bollinger Band, and the stochastic is pointing to lower momentum. So at this point, um, it is best it, a good idea uh, to basically stay out of the mar market in order to see technically what happens uh, with the um, with the stimulus. If there is additional stimulus, then this market will basically rocket to the upside. If there is no stimulus, then this market will basically collapse to, to the downside because that will also mean that there will be no stimulus for quite a long time. And 
there is a desperate need for stimulus. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by clicking the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.